brought to you by Lister Pros TV, streaming from Tempe, Arizona. And we're live in five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, Jordan Nielsen here, host of Real Estate Pros on Lister Pros TV, and today we're in Tucson, Arizona, Guild Mortgage with Katherine Hallberg of Long Realty. Thank you, Katherine, for taking time out of your busy day and joining me here. Well, thanks, Jordan. It's good to be here. Awesome. So uh, we'll give you a couple minutes to introduce yourself for those watching that uh, don't know who you are. Just a quick intro. Um, how long you've been in real estate? What interested you in this business? And uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Well, I'm Katherine Hallberg with Long Realty, and I work with my husband, Rob Hallberg, and we are with Long Realty in, at Houghton Southeast, which for those of you that don't know, is in Rita Ranch. It's, we're in the southeast portion of Tucson, the Vail area, which is a real up and coming area. Yeah, it is Vail. Yeah, I was, we were talking to somebody else with new, there's a lot of new developments and stuff going oh, on Oh, it's there. going crazy. Absolutely crazy. Madame A. Holmes actually has uh, bladed a huge area right across from Savannah where they're planning on building over 600 homes in 2019. Wow. So up and coming, definitely a, a big big piece. So um, before we started the show, we were talking a little bit about, about your background as a flight attendant and then you mm -hmm. ended up um, transitioning to real estate. Why, why did you ultimately choose real estate? Well, it's an interesting story, Jordan. Huh? Uh, we were living in Dallas. My husband was selling uh, software systems to Fortune 500 companies, and I was a flight attendant for Delta Airlines, and I had been for 31 years. Uh, Delta decided to close the Dallas-Fort Worth flight attendant base, so I was left with the option of either transferring to Atlanta or commuting back and forth, and neither of those really appealed to me. Um, my husband was had been in the uh, sales industry for a long time, and it was the software industry in Dallas is very volatile. Companies are always starting and going bankrupt and being bought out, and so he was constantly having to switch companies, and he was getting tired of all that. In addition, I'm a graduate gemologist. And I had a jewelry business on the side. And as you can imagine, I had a real uh, ready clientele and the other flight attendants. So I had that going. And every year we'd come out to Tucson to the gym show to mm -hmm. buy for my business. And we knew that we wanted to live in uh, Tucson ultimately. Uh. So when all this went down, we looked at each other. We said, you know, you can take early retirement with health benefits, which was real appealing. And so we said, we'll just leave now. And so we did. We, people thought we were crazy. We put our house on the market. We moved on out to Tucson. And we've been here since 2005. The way we got into real estate was we were looking for a home. And uh -huh. we were riding around with our realtor and we said, well, this looks easy. We, like, we could probably do this. So we decided to become realtors and it's been the hardest job either one of us has ever experienced. Sure, you know it's definitely not easy, and some some you you hear about stories of people getting into real estate because it's going to be easy money, and it definitely isn't the case if you're in in it for long term success. It's a lot of work. It's uh, a seven day a week job. Oh yeah. And you know anybody that comes into it thinking they're going to do it part time and make any money is going to be very disappointed. Awesome, but that, that that's interesting about, so you're a, uh, a graduate gem gemologist. gemologist? Uh huh. So do you enjoy like going on nature hikes here in Tucson with uh, rocks and stuff like that? Or, or do you like like precious stones and yes, stuff like I, that? Yes, I like the finished product, Ah, gotcha, gotcha. You're like, there's a rock over there that looks very appealing. <laughs> Although I did go on a Pima Mine tour this past weekend. Oh, really? And they, they uh, it was interesting to see the various uh, ores that they had you know they they mine co copper but yeah. there are other ores that are byproducts that they have as well 
So it is real interesting. Yeah, that, that I, is I like that is it. I still go to the gym show every year. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still That's do cool. that. So we know uh, that there's a lot of options here in Tucson when it comes to real estate agents. Uh, and there's more and more getting in the market mm -hmm. or getting in this industry every day. So um, what differentiates you? It's you and your husband, correct? Yes, Work myself as a team. and Rob, yes. Uh, or as a partnership. So what sets you guys apart from the other agents in the Tucson area? Well, Jordan, thanks for asking that question. Mm -hmm. Rob and I are both associate brokers. And I think that the one thing that makes us so successful is our attention to detail. As, as you may know, a real estate transaction has a lot of moving parts. There's not only just the buyers and the sellers and their agents, you've also got the lenders, you've got the escrow company, the HOAs, you've got the home inspectors, the appraisers, and uh, numerous service providers that you deal with during the transaction. And to actually get to the closing table, everybody has to be doing their jobs. And I think that most people are pretty well-intentioned, but sometimes they get distracted or overwhelmed and things fall through the cracks. So Rob and I consider it our job to oversee the entire transaction, not just our part in it. And I think that's the reason we're so successful and have such a high rate of getting our transactions to the closing table. Very few of ours fall through. Occasionally one kind of gets away from us, right, but right, right. for the most part, we close. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's definitely respected in the real estate because obviously being a real estate agent myself, I've been in transactions where, you know, the other side of the party's not completely engaged yeah. and <laughs> last minute the, uh, <laughs> the lender falls out or can't get the deal done and then you're going back on. It's just, it's a bad experience when you don't have a real estate agent uh, that really cares about, you know, crossing their T's and dotting their I's and really... Oh, yeah. I'll never forget one time we had this one agent. We had the seller and they had the buyer. And we were inquiring as to how the, the loan was going on the other side. And she said, uh, we don't get involved with our loans. We, we Yeah, I know. We were like, what? <laughs> <laughs> And that was the one that fell through the crack. No. <laughs> well, no, we immediately called their lender oh, yeah, to yeah. see, you know, what was happening. Yeah. But yeah, you really do. You have to keep engaged with the lender and find out where the process is going, if there's any kind of problems that are coming up that maybe you can help with. And many times we have, you know, we're willing to go the extra mile, mm -hmm. you know, and and that's, that's kind of what it takes if you're going to be successful really in any business is to be willing to, to go above your, your job description. Sure. Awesome, man. We were talking re before this about uh, videos. You know, you, know you, you mentioned that you do some video. So, mm -hmm. talk, so talk to us about uh, video because I think a lot of real estate agents may get caught up or self-conscious and not want to do videos. You know, how have you f found it... Uh, yourself able to do videos and you know and enjoy the process one thing that I think is important is to be prepared and think about ahead of time what it is that you're going to say so you don't get up there and stumble around I did a video uh, with one of our photographers who does videos about the uh, purchase contract and I actually did it in about three or four segments because typically Someone who's watching a video has a short attention span and they're really only interested for about three minutes at a time. And so I broke it up so that they could actually digest what I was saying and not, you know, just fall asleep during the whole process. Right, right. I also try to engage people with, with facts that might be interesting to them, bring up real life situations, examples, try to make it as user-friendly as possible and on topics that somebody might really be interested in. Right. Because the purchase contract is hard to understand if it's your first time looking at it. I think it's helpful to go through it and step by step and let buyers know what to expect. Absolutely. You know, it's important, uh, you know, to kind of know what you're going to talk about, you know, pre-plan and, and deliver value to people, you know. Uh, 
Well, what do you think is important in a good video? You do them all the oh, time. Oh, we, we do them all the time. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think you, you brought up a good point about, uh, you know, attention spans being short. So, you know, what can you make it to do to be interesting? I think a lot of videos lack interestingness, I think. Um, and uh, audio quality is one for me. So it's like content one and your production qualities, the other thing. Uh, anyways, I, I could go on for days about the topic, but um, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, being prepared. Well, and, we uh, interviewed a, a, an owner at a local restaurant down in the southeast, mm -hmm. and he had changed locations. And I was trying to get him to tell me about what made his new location so, so good over the other location because it was just down the street, mm -hmm. but it was located in a new Houghton Town Center that by the way, we have opened up in Vail, which is really exciting considering we never used to have anything down there. Now we've got restaurants, we've got a Walmart, we've got Ross Dress for Less, nice. you know, all the, store. the <laughs> different ones. Oh, you're in Ross. <laughs> That's one thing I don't care about if people know me. I don't, I'm not shopping at Nordstrom's, I'm shopping at Ross, Kohl's, Walmart, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of people. I spend my money on electronics. Go figure. I have a media company. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, to each his own. You know? Right, right, right. But it was hard to get him engaged, you know, because he was not not a video friendly person, and he was real self conscious, and and he hadn't really thought about the questions ahead of time, and so I sort of had to help him along, you know, because I knew the area and uh -huh. I could kind of give him an idea of why his business would do better here than up the street. Right, right. So did you were you did you interview him uh, to be able to post on yeah. and share, kind of uh -huh. give a behind the scenes uh -huh. look? I think you know that's becoming more and more popular uh, from real estate, you know, because we also edit videos and some people we have a customer that shoots a lot of those videos uh, their interview uh, local restaurants yeah, uh -huh. and people yeah, kind of want to know we the operation uh -huh. what are some of the s secret menu thing or you know talk talk to them about it and knowing uh, the back history of things uh comes in, is interesting and that's kind of like the same th thing for me when it comes to real estate i think every every real estate agent has a different story um mm -hmm. uh, they get into the market or into this industry for different reasons and it's 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 interesting you know and, and people that may know you that oh i didn't know that about i didn't know she was a gemologist or mm -hmm. you know it just uh it's interesting well and that's why we like uh, doing real estate is we have met an array of people from all walks of life that we would not have met otherwise and they all have stories to tell they all have reasons why they're buying or selling homes and what's important to them. And we kind of, well, we do. We, we custom make our business according to what people need. We'll go around with sellers room to room and help them figure out what stays in the room and what's better to stash somewhere. Right, right, right. And as you well know, pictures are vital. Oh, because sure. everything's on the internet now and videos are important so to have good photographs of your home is essential and you guys at lister pro of course provide that service you have uh, 3d photos you've got drone photos you've got a variety people love looking at those things it holds their attention yeah absolutely and 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 agents that care, uh, they, they see the value of the photos, you know, decluttering the house, giving the homeowner definitely goes a long way as well. I, I, would, I, I would say it's, you know, partially our photography, but it's also uh, has a lot to do with how well the home is ready to shoot, you know. Exactly. And we give tips to sellers about doing that, tell them what rooms they should be repainting yesterday. I ended up was doing a photo shoot for a home we're getting ready to put on the market. And I was physically moving things out of a room and sticking them in the hallway so that that room could be photographed. And then I stuck it back and then did yeah. something with the next room. And that's what you have to do. When you want people to come and look at the home, because many times once they get there, they can see the, the features of the home that would make them want to live in this home. 
Whereas if they're just looking at pictures, trying to pick out what homes they want to see, mm -hmm. they're going to gravitate to the homes that photograph the best. Don't sure. you think, Jordan? Uh, no, absolutely. Because I've been through the process. Yeah, you, you know, I've been through the process of sitting down with buyers and uh -huh. then, all right, here's the potential homes that are coming and you can just see them eliminate. Well, oh, yeah. The ones with terrible photos, fat, even though the home may be in good condition, you mm -hmm. know, it's all crooked and bad lighting oh yeah uh, yeah and they look at it, they go well, i don't want to go there that looks terrible right and in reality once they got yeah, there they might go house. wow this this really looks better than it did in the pictures yeah absolutely it's so, important awesome so uh you've been in the the business for what 13 uh, years 13 years um uh, what are some main drivers of your business what do you mean by like, main uh, drivers? Referrals? Do you do open houses, or you know, what are those things that? Um... A lot of it is referrals at this point. Mm -hmm. We get a lot of repeat business. We have a lot of people that say this is their forever home, and then we hear from them three years later that right, right, something right. has yeah. happened. <laughs> you know, they've gotten divorced. Their kids have moved somewhere else, and they want to be near the kids. Some there's been a death in the family all kinds of reasons people end up selling their homes and we we get buyers from refer from referrals as well we do open houses open houses are a great way to see how the home presents itself uh, i don't know that we get a high amount of of sales of the house from an open house but certainly I think they're beneficial. Sure. We also do the uh, tours. The Tucson Association of Realtors uh, puts on tours of homes at various uh, locations each month. Uh, once a month, they're down in the southeast, and we make sure to sign up our listings for those tours because you draw in realtors from other firms as well as your own and give the home more exposure. We also have branch tours that we do that way. So we try to get the homeowner as much exposure as we can, and then the people will come. Absolutely. People will come. So uh, if somebody's watching this right now and they're like, hey, I want, I want to hire Catherine and her husband to help me buy or sell a home, how do people get a hold of you? Uh, the phone number? Sure. Okay. Uh, our phone number is 520-407-8667. And my husband, Rob, actually, he's busy working today. That's why he wasn't here. But he's actually on the board of directors of the Tucson Association of Realtors. And he has a master's in real estate. And we're both associate brokers. And we continue with our education and constantly trying to update our knowledge of real estate, our knowledge of how to market ourselves, the newest videos. Long is very good about that. Long tries to be on the forefront of technology. They were one of the first ones to have that app that you can use to drive around and you can actually point it at the house and it'll bring up information oh, really? about it. Oh yeah, have you not seen that? I haven't seen that app, no. No, it's a great phone app. You hit home scan, and as you drive around, you'll have a little rectangle of homes that are for sale or are under contract. You tap on it, it'll show you exactly what the home's listed for, the photos of the home, really? the details. And so you can decide That's from cool. your car if you want to see the home or not. Oh, wow. That is interesting. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, it is. That's cool That's technology. Cool so we provide all our clients with that. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you guys are very knowledgeable, know what you guys are doing, and obviously not not uh, content just knowing what you know, but are out striving to get more knowledge on real estate in general and mm -hmm. your market. And uh, We're very one-on-one. -on -one. Many times uh, we'll actually become friends with our buyers or sellers and you know, continue seeing them afterwards sure. and follow up with their lives. and. It's really fun that way. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Catherine, for joining me on Real Estate Pros this afternoon. And uh, we will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you, Jordan.